Join me as I dive deep into the new 2025 Medicare Prescription Payment Plan, M3P, and see if I can break it down so that it's super easy to understand. In this video, you'll learn all about the 2025 Medicare Prescription Payment Plan, also known as M3P, and its potential impact on your healthcare costs. Many seniors struggle with high medication costs, and it's not hard to see why. Prescription drugs are a crucial part of managing chronic conditions, but they can be a significant burden on the wallet. The cost of medications can add up quickly, leaving many feeling like they're forced to choose between their health and their financial stability. This is especially true for those on a fixed income, who may have to make tough decisions about which medications to prioritize. It's a stressful and overwhelming situation, and it's no wonder that many seniors feel like they're drowning in medical expenses. But it's not all doom and gloom. The 2025 Medicare Prescription Payment Plan, or M3P, is a new initiative designed to make prescription medications more affordable for seniors. By understanding how this M3P works, you can take control of your healthcare costs and make informed decisions about your care. We'll break down the key features of the M3P, including eligibility requirements, how payments are structured, and the benefits it offers. One of the most important things to understand is that the M3P is designed to provide more transparency and predictability when it comes to prescription costs. This means that you'll have a better idea of what you'll be paying up front, and can budget accordingly. The M3P is also designed to incentivize the use of generic medications, which can be a more affordable option for many seniors. By encouraging the use of these medications, the M3P hopes to reduce the overall cost of prescription drugs. Additionally, the plan includes measures to reduce waste and improve the efficiency of the healthcare system, which can also help to drive down costs. One of the most exciting features of the M3P is the introduction of a new cost-sharing model. This model is designed to make prescription medications more affordable by limiting the amount you'll need to pay out of pocket. This can be a game-changer for seniors who are struggling to afford their medications. The most exciting aspect of the M3P is the introduction of out-of-pocket maximums, which can drastically change how you budget for medications. Under the M3P, you'll have a clear idea of how much you'll need to pay for your prescriptions each year, and can plan accordingly. This can be a huge relief. Beginning with calendar year 2025, Medicare Advantage Part D plans are required to provide all Part D and release the option to pay their out-of-pocket Part D prescription drug cost in monthly amounts over the course of the plan year, instead of paying at the point of sale. Part D and release can voluntarily opt into the program prior to or at any time during the plan year and such an election will not have any bearing on their Part D plan enrollment. Once opted into the program, the member will pay $0 at the point of sale. The Part D plan will send a monthly bill to the member. This amount cannot exceed a monthly cap established by CMS and detailed in the Part 1 guidance. CMS will require Part D plans to perform targeted outreach directly to Part D enrollees who are likely to benefit from the program both prior to and during the contract year CY. These enrollees include individuals who have had annual out-of-pocket costs of at least $2,000 in the first three quarters. CMS is developing a standardized notice named Medicare Prescription Payment Plan Likely to Benefit Notice to share with these members. This notice should be sent to members in the following manner, by mail or email to members identified as most likely to benefit based on their utilization in 2024 prior to CY 2025. By mail, email or telephone anytime a claims document is approved for a medication that would trigger a large out-of-pocket payment during CY 2025. This must follow the same time frame as claims document approval notification. In person at the point of sale any time an out-of-pocket amount exceeds a certain amount, which will be determined by CMS at a later date. Plans must assess their current Part D and release prescription costs from January to September of the current year during the fourth quarter. Based on these members' incurred costs or any other analyses that identify members most likely to benefit from the program, plans must send these members a Medicare Prescription Payment Plan Likely to Benefit Notice by December 7, 2024. A Part D sponsor cannot bill the enrollee more than the lesser of their actual out-of-pocket costs or the first month's cap. The first month cap is equal to annual out-of-pocket threshold minus incurred costs of the enrollee divided by the number of months remaining in the plan year. This example demonstrates how the maximum monthly cap would be calculated for an enrollee with no prescriptions filled in the first month in the program. 
the enrollee successfully opted into the program in January 2025. They fill no prescriptions during that month. The annual out-of-pocket max for 2025 is $2,000. The month is January, so the months remaining in the plan year equals 12. The plan will bill $0 in January, since the enrollee has not incurred any costs. So the first month maximum cap will be equal to $2,000 which is the annual out-of-pocket max minus $0 incurred cost of the enrollee dived by 12 the months remaining in the plan year equals $166.67. For a subsequent month for which the Part D enrollee has opted into the program, the maximum monthly cap is equal to sum of remaining out-of-pocket costs not yet billed to enrollee plus additional OOP costs incurred by the enrollee divide by number of months remaining in the plan year. Continuing from the previous example to demonstrate. In example, calculation of maximum monthly cap in subsequent months, the enrollee presents to the pharmacy in February to fill a high-cost, short-course treatment. Step 1. Determine the remaining costs owed. The enrollee incurred $0 in January and was billed $0. Step 2. Determine the additional out-of-pocket costs incurred. The enrollee fills a single prescription with an out-of-pocket cost of $1,030.37. Additional out-of-pocket costs incurred equals $1,030.37. Step 3. Calculate the maximum monthly cap for the subsequent month. The month is February, so the months remaining in the plan year equals 11. $0 plus $1,030.37, divided by 11 equal to $93.67. The calculation for the maximum monthly cap in subsequent months, described above, is repeated for each month remaining in the plan year and will change if there are additional out-of-pocket costs incurred by the enrollee. If the enrollee in example number 1 continued to have no new covered Part D, Prescription drug costs, their maximum monthly cap would be $93.67 for all the months remaining in the plan year. In addition, the M3P is designed to provide more flexibility when it comes to medication choices. By giving you more options and flexibility, the M3P hopes to improve your overall quality of care. The out-of-pocket maximums under the M3P can also help to reduce the stress and anxiety that comes with managing prescription costs. By knowing exactly how much you'll need to pay, you can focus on what really matters, your health. To wrap up, we've discussed how the M3P can help alleviate prescription costs and improve access to necessary medications for millions of Americans. If you found this information helpful, be sure to check out our other videos on Medicare updates and leave your thoughts in the comments below. You are invited to subscribe to Comradery Health Agency LLC YouTube channel or www.comradaryhealthagency.com or call 224-433-5754.